So we are LDV Capital. Um, we are the Visual Technology Venture Fund. Well, visual technologies, what are those? What, why are those important? Um, the vast majority of data that our brains analyze is visual in nature. And so visual data is gonna be critical to the success of artificial intelligence. There's so many different kinds of visual data, whether that's video, photo, 3D, hyperspectral, radar, LIDAR, UV, um, fluorescence imaging used for genetic sequencing, and a variety more. Visual technologies are any of the technologies that capture, analyze, filter, display, or distributes that visual data. Typically, it leverages computer vision, machine learning, or artificial intelligence. These visual technologies cross cut all sectors, whether that's food and agriculture, like we're gonna be talking about today, medical imaging, autonomous vehicles, logistics and manufacturing, or so much more. At LDV, we invest horizontally across all of these different visual technologies in all of these different sectors. We invest in the pre-seed and seed stage all across North America, Europe, and Israel. Our core team, there's now five of us. We've got two fantastic summer associates that you'll also be hearing from later today. And we've got a wide range of, of experts in the imaging community, um, from academia to Instagram, YouTube, Lyft, Facebook, and so much more. Our experts and our co-investors are one of the, the major building blocks of our unique platform. We've built up our unique platform in order to deliver network effects that help us source, select, and build valuable companies. Outside of the experts and co-investors and the proprietary tools that we develop, we've got our LDV Vision Summit, which typically happens in person in May every year in New York, uh, where we bring together 600 participants and 60 speakers to talk about the ways in which visual technologies are building our disrupting business and society. We also have our LDV community. Um, our community now consists of 1,200 first-time serial and funded entrepreneurs, as well as some investors of equal gender balance that get together on a monthly basis for, for dinners uh, where we can find out how we can help each other succeed. We built out a specific platform called the LDV Pong platform, um, where even when we're not able to meet and have dinner in person, the members of the community are able to put in their asks and their requests for the community and everybody can answer them back with, with helpful ways that they can, they can help. Uh, the last tier of our platform is our LDV Insight series, which has brought us here today. So in 2017, we started out our series um, looking at where there's going to be cameras deployed across the world in order to understand where there's visual technology business opportunities. And we built out a model discovering that there's going to be 45 billion cameras delivering business opportunities by 2022. And in 2018, we looked at healthcare because we understand that it's not just cameras building visual data but it's all different types of imaging modalities we looked in and we found nine different sectors where visual tech is going to improve healthcare um, in fact we looked at where there's going to be virtual versus physical doctor's office visits and thought that there'd be more virtual visits by 2024 we know now that the pandemic has actually speeded up that adoption rate uh, last year we looked at manufacturing and logistics and, and understanding where there's things like um, robotics being deployed within global warehouses that, to aid with um, the, uh, the rise of e-commerce as opposed to retail. Um, this year, which has brought us here today, we've been looking at visual technologies that are revolutionizing food and agriculture. We divided up the, the large sector into a variety of different categories. So in agriculture, we looked at breeding, growing, and harvesting of crops and animals. And in food, we looked at the processing of food as well as food service. Over the past three months, we've evaluated over 500 different sources, looked at nearly 200 startups, and conducted more than 60 interviews. And what we found is, is that it supports what our hypothesis was going in, that over the next five years and beyond, visual technologies are gonna be critical to feeding the planet. Whether that is because of, especially in the nature of uh, glow, growing uh, population, like O. Malik spoke about earlier, or climate change, the healthcare, the health pandemic that we're dealing with at the moment, or so much more, visual technologies are gonna be key. Across agricultural pro crops, we looked at image processing, robotics, and lighting improvements, and how they're gonna decrease some of our operating expenses and our human labor needs. 
visual sensing and data gathered by satellites, drones, infield sensors, you know, and tractor mounted sensors and so much more is really going to help with control over crops um, and give precision agriculture even more room to grow. Lighting advances in the controlled environment agriculture space when we're talking about greenhouses, vertical farms and more is really going to enable the economics of these vertical farms to, to come into play. Now things like leafy greens that are being grown there are going to become cost competitive with the organics that are already on our, our shelves. When we look at animal agriculture, connected cameras and machine learning has really came into play, leading to healthier and more productive farm animals. RGB cameras and thermal cameras armed with computer vision are really going to help improve animal breeding and care, um, helping us to, to follow animals throughout their life cycle and ensure that they're healthier. Robotics is also going to play a major part with the adoption of robotic milking, you know, is an example of what's going to continue to be adopted. On the food processing side of things, visual scanning is going to improve food safety and quality assurance, while microscopy will be critical to new food research and discovery. There's advanced imaging techniques like hyperspectral and near infrared um, that's going to enable us to, to more safely process um, the 800 million tons of fruit that's going through our fruit pack houses at the moment. Biosensors and fluorescence imaging are going to detect pathogens like E. coli and salmonella in a, in a fraction of the time that the current technologies do in order to help us have safer food. Macular molecular imaging and computer vision that you'll learn more about later are going to be critical to discovering new ingredients. So proteins and lab-grown proteins um, that we've heard a lot about in terms of lab-grown meat um, have really taken center stage in, in that conversation, but other ones like, like proteins for sweeteners um, actually are representing a big opportunity. Lastly, in food service, data visualization and genomics are going to bring transparency to food logistics, and robotics is really going to uh, reshape some of our food service. Visualization of data such as satellite data, GPS, and weather data um, is going to help us understand and have those aha moments when it's all visualized out on a map. Next generation sequencing, which is key to genomics and leverages fluorescence imaging, is going to help us understand if something is actually a GMO or not. When it comes to grocery, you know, we're going to see a major revolution in grocery that's going to have a lot to do with robotics and the Internet of Eyes and helping to automate our grocery shopping experiences. Ultimately, from farm to fridge, visual tech is going to be deployed to bring uh, bountiful business opportunities for us across the food sector. 